Today we stand on the brink of a groundbreaking development in the world of photography. Nikon has always been at the forefront of innovation, consistently pushing the boundaries of imaging. They have a long history of crafting cameras synonymous with excellence. The Nikon D500, a legend in its own right, set the benchmark for speed, durability, and image quality. Now, rumors suggest that the Z90 is its spiritual successor, a camera that not only honors the past but boldly strides into the future. The Z90 is rumored to feature an APS-C sensor, a format that strikes a perfect balance between image quality, reach, and affordability. Compared to full-frame sensors, the APS-C offers a crop factor of 1.5x, translating into enhanced telephoto reach without the need for massive, heavy lenses. Imagine capturing distant wildlife or high-speed sports action with stunning clarity and detail. This is the promise of the Z90. Industry whispers suggest that the Z90 will boast a staggering 33-megapixel sensor. But this isn't just about cramming more pixels into an image, it's about unlocking a world of creative possibilities. With such high resolution, you can expect breathtaking image quality, exceptional low light performance, and an expansive dynamic range that captures every nuance of a scene. In today's fast-paced world, capturing fleeting moments requires a camera that can keep up. The Z90 is rumored to be a speed demon, capable of rapid-fire shooting and lightning-fast autofocus. Whether you're photographing action-packed sports, unpredictable wildlife, or candid street scenes, the Z90 promises to be your unwavering companion, always ready to capture the perfect shot. While official details remain scarce, we can anticipate that the Z90 will be as much a marvel of design as it is of technology. Nikon is likely to craft a camera body that is both ergonomic and robust, built to withstand the rigors of professional use. Expect a comfortable grip, customizable controls, and a high-resolution electronic viewfinder that provides a clear and accurate representation of your scene. Photography isn't the Z90's only focus, its video capabilities are expected to impress both enthusiasts and professionals alike. Smooth, high-resolution footage, advanced autofocus, and versatile shooting options are likely to be key features. This could make the Z90 not just a photographer's tool, but a powerful asset for filmmakers as well. As with any highly anticipated product, details about the Z90's pricing and release date are still shrouded in mystery. However, Considering its potential position as a successor to the D500 and a competitor to other high-end APS-C cameras, a price point in the range of $1,500 to $2,200 seems plausible. The Nikon Z90 is more than just a camera, it's a statement of intent. With its rumored specifications and potential capabilities, the Z90 could redefine the APS-C landscape. As we eagerly await official announcements and hands-on reviews, one thing is clear the future of photography is looking incredibly bright. Deeper dive exploring the potential of the Z90. The Z90 could serve as a catalyst for innovation in the APS-C market, pushing other manufacturers to elevate their game. If it truly delivers on its rumored speed capabilities, it could set a new benchmark for action photography. Versatility redefined. The combination of high-resolution stills and impressive video capabilities could make the Z90 a versatile tool for both photographers and filmmakers, expanding creative possibilities and offering a more comprehensive package than its competitors. The future of Nikon. The success of the Z90 could significantly impact Nikon's position in the mirrorless camera market, potentially bolstering their standing and influence. This camera could be a pivotal point in Nikon's ongoing evolution as they continue to adapt to the ever-changing demands of the photography world. We'll continue to monitor developments closely and provide you with the latest information as it becomes available. The excitement surrounding this camera is palpable, and we can't wait to share more with you as we explore the future of photography together. Two months ago, Nikon made waves in the camera industry by acquiring RED, the renowned U.S.-based cinema company, for $85 million. This unexpected move has sparked speculation about Nikon's plans to enhance its video capabilities, particularly through the potential development of a new Komodo camera with Nikon Z-mount. The acquisition followed a patent infringement lawsuit filed by RED against Nikon regarding compressed RAW technology. During the legal proceedings, Nikon recognized an opportunity to enter the professional digital cinema market. 
The company aims to combine its expertise in product development, reliability, and image processing with RED's advanced cinema camera knowledge and unique image compression technology. Nikon's president has confirmed a renewed focus on videography, leveraging RED's strengths in this area. The company has hinted at developing cinema lenses and potentially introducing the Z-mount to RED cameras, signaling a significant shift in Nikon's approach to video. While still in the early stages of development, rumors suggest that Nikon might introduce a new camera in RED's Komodo series, possibly called the Komodo Z. This camera could combine RED's cinematic capabilities with Nikon's imaging expertise. Although concrete information is limited, we can speculate on some possible specifications and features based on previous RED cameras. The last camera in RED's Komodo series, the Komodo X, featured a 20-megapixel global shutter CMO sensor with advanced video capabilities. It's likely that the speculated Komodo Z will use a similar or improved sensor, possibly offering enhanced video quality and new RED video recording formats. The Komodo X can shoot 6K videos at 80fps and 4K videos at 120fps in 12-bit RAW, suggesting that the Komodo Z might offer 8K video capabilities. RED recently introduced a well-received face detection autofocus system, which could see further improvements in the Komodo Z. Instead of Canon's RF mount, the new camera is expected to feature Nikon's Z mount, a move highly anticipated by enthusiasts. Enhanced 12-bit internal video recording capabilities are also speculated to be part of this new offering. Additionally, Nikon could introduce cinema lenses for the Z-mount with T-stop features, further enhancing the camera's performance and appeal to professional videographers. Despite the excitement surrounding this acquisition, both Nikon and RED have emphasized that significant changes are not imminent. Nikon's recent statements confirm that RED's current product lineup, partnerships and dealer relationships will remain unchanged for the time being. This suggests that a Z-mount RED Komodo is not in the immediate future. Nikon has emphasized the importance of continuity in RED's policies, including warranty, repair services, and customer support. While many speculated that we would see quick developments like Z-mount RED cameras, it appears that both companies are taking a more measured approach. Any major changes or new products resulting from this acquisition will likely take time to materialize. The Nikon Komodo Z remains highly speculative at this stage, and Nikon has hinted that we shouldn't expect an official announcement anytime soon. For now, we can only rely on rumors and whispers about the uncertain Komodo Z. However, Nikon's acquisition of RED undeniably opens up exciting possibilities for the future of digital cinema and photography. The combination of Nikon's imaging expertise and RED cinematic technology could potentially lead to groundbreaking products in the years to come. As the industry closely watches these developments, we can expect gradual changes that might reshape the landscape of professional videography. It's clear that significant changes won't happen overnight. Patience will be required as Nikon and RED work to integrate their technologies and strategies. If it does come to fruition, the Nikon Komodo Z could be a game changer, but only time will tell how this acquisition will truly impact the world of cameras. While the future remains uncertain, one thing is clear the merger of these two industry giants has the potential to push the boundaries of what's possible in digital imaging and cinematography. As we wait for concrete developments, the camera industry and enthusiasts alike will be watching with keen interest to see how this acquisition unfolds and what innovations it might bring to the world of professional videography and photography.